to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the doctor of Common Sense. Now the puzzle is starting to make a little bit more sense. You heard Nathan Wade and uh, Fannie Willis testify. Neither one is very smart, even though Fannie thought she was going to outsmart us, but she's been busted time and time again. But she wasn't even the mastermind behind the whole Rico statue. It's starting to make sense now. They were out front and they were being used by the Biden administration. And when I say Biden administration, I'm not refer referring to the nincompoop known as Joe Biden. And, and, and Joan, Shanghai, I'm going to pass by, Shanghai, Because he couldn't find his butt with a road map. But there's a fella by the name of Jeff DeSantis. Or out with Barnes, and then he pulled the plug. Right. Um, which was like the day after. Right. Right. Which, you know, we, we were way behind. I mean, I, you know, my guess is we, I mean, we would have been an underdog. Sure. Probably could have, it would have tightened the, mm -hmm. the nature of those things. I don't believe he's related to uh, Mr. DeSantos, uh, the governor. But Jeff DeSantos served as the county's deputy district attorney. Jeff DeSantos worked on Fonnie Willis' 2020 campaign and was the former executive director of the Democratic Party in Georgia. I believe there was a whistleblower who's saying this, according to Breitbart News, that the White House, probably the DOJ department or something, planted this Jeff DeSantis in the offices of funny Willis. Money. Mr. Wade is used to women that, uh, as he told me one time, the only thing a woman can do for him is make him a sandwich. I'd like to take this time to thank Clint Stubbs, who donated $10 on our PayPal. Thank you, Brother Clint Stubbs. Y-R-M-A, a.k.a. Irma. Thank you, Sister Irma, for that $10 on our cash app. Breitbart seems to think that DeSantis is the brainchild behind the whole collusion. In other words, Funny and Nathan Willis, I'm sorry, Nathan Wade, is not smart enough to come up with Rico statues. So they've been, they've been feeding these morons because when you hear them testify, it's obvious that they're not the ones behind this. They're so stupid that they get on the stand and purging themselves left and right. When did you start dating? When I started dating Mr. Wade? Mm -hmm. It was right around then. Um, the April 2022? 22. 22. And uh, would you say that was frequent? When I say frequent, do you think prior to November 1st of 2021, you were at the condo more than 10 times? No, sir. So it would be less than 10 times. Yes, sir. So if phone records were to reflect that you were making phone calls from the same location as the condo before November uh, 1st of 2021, and it was on multiple occasions, the phone records would be wrong? The phone records reflected that? Yes, sir. They'd be wrong. They'd be wrong. Okay. Did you, where did you live during that? You remember that Funny Willis and Nathan said that they didn't have a relationship before they, I think it was 2000 and uh, the, the, the November 2022, we found out that 11 months before she hired him to prosecute Donald Trump, they averaged about 35 communications per day, about 11,865 text messages before he was allegedly hired. <laughs> Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing? Anybody believe that? Why would Nathan Wade needs to talk to Fonny 35 times per day? It can only mean two things. First of all, she had to pay to keep Nathan interested. Second of all, they're not even very good liars. Because it's obvious the story that they concocted didn't make any sense. But now we see why. Because they're not very smart. Now we find out that this is election interference. Because the Biden administration, because their whole administration is trash, all their policies is trash, and the only thing they could run on is trying to make Donald Trump out to be a criminal. 
when Joe Biden broke every law you can name. So the, their strategy is not to talk about all the wonderful things they've done because that's falling flat on his face. Even though Joe Biden's trying to visit the border now, which is laughable, you sign the executive order to get rid of what Donald Trump had in place. So ain't no need you visiting the border, moron. We already know what that's about. Battle. With you at my side, we will demolish the deep state. We will expel the warmongers from our government. We will drive out the globalists. We will cast out the communists, Marxists, and fascists. We will throw off the sick political class that hates our country. We will rout the fake news media, and we will liberate America from these villains once and for all. Now we find out that it is election interference because the Biden administration is using the federal government, namely the intel community, to try to destroy Donald Trump and prosecute him. And the Republicans are not doing a damn thing to Joe Biden, who's already broken all the laws. Just think about that. Joe Biden, we know for a fact Joe Biden and Hunter Biden was getting paid off of Hunter Biden being the bad man in Russia, in China, in Ukraine, all of this. And we know about these things. And we have not done anything to the Biden clan. Hunter Biden is pretending like him being sober now is protecting democracy. A crackhead thinks that him being sober is saving democracy in this country. His daddy was trash, Hunter's trash, and probably all his whole rest of his family, including the children, is trash. Everything about these damn bodies. But now we've been caught with the hand in the cookie jar yet again. Jeff DeSantos is, is supposed to be the mastermind behind the whole Rico statue. Let's investigate Jeff DeSantos then. How many more of these damn people is going to come out the woodworks for you damn people wake up and see that the Biden administration is completely corrupt?